Hey guys, what's up? We're back for part two of Finchgiving. It's Thanksgiving Day now. I'm recording this. We got three more teams to make because I'm giving you guys some of the most heat teams in the metagame. We're building the first one around Choice Bandit Zygarde 10%, also known as Zydog. It is Zygarde's less um less viable brother to say the least. Unfortunately, regular Zygarde got banned to Uber, so now we're trying out the uh fellow Zygarde that can still spam thousand arrows that much resistance but unfortunately there is much more resistance than regular Zygarde if that makes sense due to the fact that this bad boy is much much more frail. Um, on his quicker 54, 71, 85 bulk is just very poor relative to where Zygarde the other one was the Zygarde 50% and this leaves it a lot less effective unfortunately. It does have a niche in lower tiers in last generation for example is quite good in RU especially with choice band and DD plus Z dragon sets but this generation um, I'm assuming it's going to fit, fill into a similar role in lower tiers, but it just isn't as good in an overused setting, so that's unfortunate. But we're going to try and make it viable here. I think the best way to use is just Choice Band on Attacker and pairing it with Teleport plus Future Sight Support. Um, so I'm thinking Slowbro or Slow King, and looking how poor its physical defense is, I think we might as well just pencil on Slowbro now. Especially since at least Zygarde 10% can tank him from Heatran, and Slowbro can check it a bit worse than Slow King, but still check it. So we've got like two soft Heatran checks, which can go a long way. I'd set. We're gonna just use the standard slow bro. There's really little reason to use an alternative set. I don't know why I filled in body press, but future sight, scald, slack off, teleport, maximize the physical bulk, of course. And since you got heavy duty boots, you know, teleport. You'd really want to be slower than other slow bros using teleport, so you just zero out the speed in general. And yeah, no, this is the set that you pretty much always see on slow bro right now. Now, with these two, it's worth noting that Zygarde 10% isn't really something that functions as speed control despite being fast. It's sort of in that awkward in-between phase where it's quicker than things like Gengar, Terrakion, you know, Adamant, Cinderace, and so on, Keldeo, you know, all, all the base 100s like Garchomp, Garchomp like 102, Thunderous T, 101, base 100s like Drachi, Volcarona, but it's still slower than the fast Pokemon like Timid, Cinderace, Alakazam, Tornadus T, um, this goes on. And unfortunately, because of that, you need another fast Pokemon with it, which definitely compresses builds with it as well. And it's an unfortunate um, facet of its usage in OU metagame, but at the same time, you can still make it work. Um, you just gotta kinda play around with it a little bit, um, try and find a place to optimize it. So, looking here, we still are lacking a lot of defensive coverage due to Zygarde 10% being a dead spot defensively as well, but we could add a Steel type, such as Heatran, say, for example, and that helps cover a lot of things. For example, Grass types offensively could really decimate Slowbro, but Heatran can help with them not name Kartana, and also at least for some predictions, so, yeah, but then you look, Zygarde 10%, um, weak to Spikes, Heatran weak to Spikes, you may want a removal on this team as well. Hmm. They could just go with a Mandibuzz, and that deck is as good against Spectre, you know what? I think we want to do this when we go Mandibuzz plus Dragapult. Yeah, we want to go Mandibuzz plus Dragapult, because that means that we could always be good against Spectre, Dragapult can Revenge Kill it. We could also run Spectre, Dragap Dragapult, and now we want to run something, now we have the ability to run something really fun in the back. Um, I'm thinking here, trying to figure out what we're weak to. Um, a little weak to Swords Dance Chomp, we can go Foul Play Mandibuzz though. Um, I think we're pretty damn good against everything not named Faramosa, so I think we want a Fairy type class. Let's use a fun Fairy type, I think we, we've got some flexibility here. Hmm. We could fit, um, I'm trying to think here. We could fit a Bulu, but I don't really know if we need that here. We could just rock a Specs per Marino with Flip Turn and say, screw it, y'all, let's go. But it's not really a very durable check to Faramosa, unfortunately. Um, hmm. We could also go with a Scarf Lele. I just want something that'll check Quiver Dance Faramosa, really. That's what I'm looking for right now. Hmm. We think Galarius isn't very durable in the special end. We could use Comfy, that'd be pretty funny, but I don't know if it really does the trick either. Um, we might be best off with Clef or Finny, but I don't really want to use Clef on this team at the same time. I think that Coco could be really cool, actually, because it opens up for Zygarde 10% to come in safely. Um, yeah, we could just run a Roost Coco, so we're going to do a Heavy Duty Boost it. Yeah, 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 Thunderbolt, and now a Dazzling Gleam. Fortunately, it doesn't get close combat or rising voltage or anything that we really wanted and not even play it off, so that's unfortunate, but it's still, still pretty decent. Now, U-turn here, you want that so you could actually like chip ground types if you can move out. 
Um, in last generation, you used U-turn over Volt Switch 2, and it's just more convenient, even when I had it in Power Rise. But yeah, this is the kind of set you're going to want to run. But I'm going to want to calc something really quick just to make sure to Feromosa at plus one with Life Orb can't actually kill you. Because that would be really sad if it could, I'd say. So don't run into both for that. Um, yeah, we definitely can kill you. Oh yeah, especially if you give it that mod for nature. Oh god. Um, how much bulk are we going to need to get out of this? Okay, we're going to need a lot of bulk. It's fine. I don't think we need max speed anyway. Actually, we do because Spectre. Yeah. Um, actually, we have a drag, but we don't really need a fast one. So 180... 184. Okay, but how much speed do we really need? Like, really, really need. I don't think we need max, honestly, because, like, we already have Spectre check, Manda Blaze plus Drag Pulp. Blaze is kind of plus one. Well, we have Drag Pulp to revenge kill that. And I think we could actually kind of screw around and go a little slower. Hmm. This could be a range. Honestly, I don't think we're going to really see much. I think we could go down to 376. I think we can go down to 376. Yeah. I'm going to do that. You know what? Eh. It's more of a pivot in, in Nasty Plot Tornado C check anyway. So. Maybe we just stick with max speed. But I don't want to drop that much out of the attack. That's the thing. How much special defense do we need to check this? Let's, that's, let's check that. Let's see if we can conserve some EVs here. We only need... Wait. We only need 128 EVs. Oh, actually, we could just bounce this out. Let's see here. Yeah, no, we might as well just try and bounce that out as much as we can. Uh, yeah, that's where it stops. Okay. So, 12, 116, that's better. 116, and now we could just see how much. We only have 128 special attack now, though. Um... If it's just Spectre, but Spectre is super common. We don't need that. We don't need that. We'd, ha we'd, we'd only be losing 8 speed if we went out running them. Yeah, I think we just keep max and we just say this is fine. Because honestly, Coco, the, the goal isn't that hard. It's more to revenge kill and just pivot in and out, if that makes sense. So I think that's fine there. Gives us a nice check to Quiver Dance Fermosa, and you can't take Hazard. You can kind of roost up easily enough. So yeah, I think that's cool. Especially with Extreme Speed in the back, I think we're going to be fine there ultimately. As for the last move of Zagger 10%, since we have two fast Pokemon, we don't actually need Flare on it, I think, because I kind of want to run Superpower just to clock Ferrothorn, because Ferrothorn is a little bit annoying for us outside of Heatran, and Heatran is definitely going to be a bit more of a defensive variant. Um, we're going to run like half Specs, but I still want to trap Tox Specs, I think, because Tox Specs doesn't. Uh, actually, you know, with Dragapult Plus, you know, no, nah, I want, I want. Um, do I though? The thing is, Zygarde ten percent doesn't actually kill it in one shot with Choice Bandit. So yeah, I kind of do want Magma's Armor's power and Hunt. It also means that we're able to trap things like Chansey and Plissy, um, and that could come in handy for Dragapult and Coco in the late game. So I like that a lot. Yeah, okay. 128 lets us outrun things like Choice Band, Tyranitar, Max Speed, Aegis Slash, and Magnezone that aren't plus speed natured, as well as most Corviknight, Mandibuzz, and also Max Speed Crodon. Which is super helpful, and then we can just pimp out the special bulk 250, 132, 248, 132. I mean, yeah, don't really need any special um, attack on this type of set, I'd say. Running a bit more of a utility oriented heat tram, meant to trap, meant to set up stealth rock, and yeah, it deals out damage, but it deals out damage regardless of the investment there. So I'd say that you're pretty well off. Alrighty. Um, we're gonna run boots on this thing, and I, I think we unfortunately. Actually, no, I think we can afford knockover foul play because we've got Slowbro to sort us of off check drill and probably kill it with Scald after a knockoff, so yeah. And I think that we should be able to revenge kill Chomp with Dragapult, so I think we're fine. We're, we're pretty well off here. I'm just worried about Sword Stance, Stealth Shot, Guard Chomp with Life Orb, but even then we can be Scald plus Extreme Speed it down its range, so I think we're not too worried here. All in all, I'm liking this position now. Hmm, I'm just going to pause for one second to find a spread real quick. My bad about that, guys. I'm back here. Um, see, we get the Mandibuzz spread. I just had to take another team. The idea is we want to maximize the special bulk with a little restriction with some physical bulk to help check things like physical pivot Feromosa. And more importantly, also Sword of Zanzex. We want to live a plus to it if it's Rock Slide and whatnot. You know, maybe even tank couple with some Choice Bandit um, or Shifu's Wicked Blow. See, so yeah, I just some EV alterations there that I had to go through. I didn't want to, like, explain it all. Um, because I was taking the spread from another team and I couldn't show my whole team builder basically, so yeah. Just don't want to outrun, uh, outrun Magnezone, Ma uh, Magnezone, Age Slash, and Choice Band Tyranitar, and even Slow Combo, I guess. It comes in handy as well. Yeah, no, that's the spread I'm going with, though. And, um, that just leaves us with Dragapult, I believe, and we're gonna be going with a Choice Spec set, because we have removal on this team, we don't need boot necessarily. 
And on top of that, we really want to be able to revenge kill things like the aforementioned Spectre. So yeah, um, I'm thinking here, we don't have much ability to status because I don't think we need hex. But we do have electric train, so I kind of want to run Thunderbolt here, U-turn, yeah, yeah, that works, okay. All right, so yeah, I think we're just gonna pimp out speed. We're not even gonna bother going like, just like 395. We're just gonna go max because nice to have another fast Pokemon on this team. Plays like a pretty fast, uh, bulky offense slash balance team, which means that we're gonna be really well off against opposing offense, which can be cool. So yeah, between two fast Pokemon and a semi-fast Pokemon with priority, I quite like this. All right, so yeah, I think that's our way of using uh, Choice Band Zygarde 10%. Um, so that's done now. Um, now we're going to be using Swords Dance Glass Cheer. Now, all right, so I'm looking at this thing, and it actually is coverage at just about everything. High horsepower, hitting steel types like Heatran, Ice Hill Crash hitting pretty much everything besides steel and fire and water types, Megahorn hitting Slowbro, high horsepower, it's Toxfix, you know. But we don't love Buzzwall. Um, faster fire types would still be great to get down. So I'm thinking that would be good to pair this with a Tank Chomp, a Rocky Helmet Guard Chomp, as that could help, you know, limit those things survivability if you will and also as for buzzwall i'm thinking that we kind of want to have either some lure to it or something that really takes advantage of it maybe a fairy type um alternatively flame body moltres would be pretty good um i don't really know if we want flame body moltres in this team i was also thinking spectre could be pretty solid especially for toxic on guard jump which i'm leaning towards so i'm thinking that we could run like a specs or actually a hex spectre on this type of team with some sort of status pivot hmm now right off the bat we do need a steel type um, we need a steel type for sure, and we also need a water resist. Hmm. Could go with a thunder wave Barathorn, which also helps with glass trier and spec trier. So yeah, we got them down, 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 down. But we need um, I think we need Mandibuzz here as well because we're damn weak to uh, excuse me, we're damn weak to ground types. We're weak to spec trier. Yeah, and what does this leave us weak to though? Um, we're sort of vulnerable to Heatran. We do have, oh no, I don't want Blissey, sorry about that. We're weak to Heatran, um, we only have one Fighting Resist, and it's a Spectre. I could run like a Latios here, I think that would do pretty well. I could run like a Roost Latios here with Soldu even. Um, we could run Future Sight, that would be helpful as well. Hmm, let's go down a little bit. So we're weak to Heatran, we're a little bit weak to Grounds and Fighters. Hmm. Heatran, Grounds, Fighters. Heatrans, Grounds, Fighters. What do we want to run here? Um, we could run a Salamence. That'd be pretty fun. Or a Dragonite, even. I kind of want to run Dragonite. I'm not going to lie. I kind of like that idea. But we'll go, we'll go digging a little more. Um, I think, I think I kind of want to run Salamence because it's fun. Can we when we want to? We're going to make it a Heavy Duty Boots. I don't know what. You know what? Hmm. Salmon's really do much for us, though. Does it even learn dual wing beats? It does learn dual wing beat. That's cool, but is it really better than Dragonite in this role? Um. Honestly, I think I'm gonna make it Dragonite. Dragonite's still cool, though. Yeah, heavy duty boots. Dragon dance, dual wing beat. Earthquake for Pex, Thunder, oh, Fire Punch, I mean, for Ferrothorn and South Steel and Skarmory, yeah. I think this is pretty cool, actually. Team's a little bit in the slow side, but Spectre is pretty fast, so I don't worry about that too much. Um, I'm gonna make it plus speed, just so it outruns things at plus one a bit easier. With Heavy Duty Boost plus Multiscale, it's also sort of a free um, Dragon Dance, if you will, so I think that's cool. We also have Thunder Wave on Ferrothorn, we can run Spikes, Knock Off, Power Whip, Thunder Wave, so that helps slow things down, too. I think that's helpful, yeah. Now here, I think we're gonna want physically defensive Mandibuzz with Foul Play. Roost, U-turn, Defog. And on this one, we're gonna go 248. We're gonna go, um, again, same speed with 223-ish. We could run a little slower on this probably, but that's fine. And I'm actually gonna wanna maximize out the physical bulk on this team, because we're gonna go with a max special defense Ferrothorn because it's our primary resist to a couple of things. You know, for example, Specs Latios and, um, Potentially water types and rain, so yeah, we really want to pump that out here. Uh, I don't know why I'm going minus this four. Um, I guess I'll go four. That, nah, that doesn't really help with anything, honestly. Even if it's paralyzed, yeah, that helps. Um, okay, yeah, now we're gonna go with a um, nasty plot. Hex, Willow, substitute Willow is Spectre, yup, yup, yup. We're gonna pimp out that, and 
Actually, yo, I want to try Calm Mind. Because you, I bet you could live like Heatran. Watch this. Yo, Spectre. Um, Heatran. Just a defensive. What if we give it plus one? Um, how much HP would we need? It actually has 100 base HP, by the way, which is super helpful. You need way too much HP, wouldn't you? Yeah, I'm not loving that. Never mind. All right, we're just going to make it nasty plot. Screw it. I do want to try a combine spec here at some point, though. I think it could be pretty helpful in some matchups. But yeah, no, I think this is pretty solid. Um, we're going to make Garchomp, Stealth Rock, Earthquake, Flamethrower, Toxic. Yeah, I don't think we need Dragon Tail on this. Honestly, phasing isn't necessary here. Maybe we can help in some specific matchups, but I don't really feel a super big need for it. We are a little bit weak to Aramosa. I kind of want to consider Extreme Speed and Dragonite, but Spectre is a fine safety net against it. And also with Foul Play Mandibuzz, it actually does a lot to Feramosa, especially physical variants and mixed variants. That's helpful too. Um, yeah, no, I and mean, we could punish U-Turn and Close Combat a lot with Guard Chomp, so I'm okay with that. And especially if it goes Triple Axe, it'll basically just trades with Guard Chomp. So yeah, I think that's kind of funny as well. Yeah, no, I'm liking this. Hmm. Okay, so I want to highlight Spectre though. It hits so hard with 145 attack and all the stab. I quite like it. Um, it's definitely not the best Pokemon, but it has the coverage. Lester does. It has the coverage, and it has the bulk to really be a consistent Pokemon offensively. Um, I really wish it was like 20 or 30 base speed quicker. That'd be get amazing. It would like, legit be one of the better Pokemon in the metagame, but it's still something that's viable. I would advise trying it out outside of Trick Room. I think it's pretty fun. So yeah, why not? Um, as for speed, um, Bulu and Tran. Yeah, we'll go with this. Just add this outruns uh, Bulu, Heatran, a couple other things. So, yeah, 200. And we don't care if we have minus special attack because Flamethrower is going to be hitting things like Firethorn for a tool kill, probably regardless. Really not bad about the damage up, but more about the coverage. So, yeah. And, um, all right, that should do it for this squad. Yup, yup, yup. Just trying to see where we are. Time wise, 1650. All right, this was actually probably the quickest squad we built. Um, I feel like I kind of wanted to use Blast Triple as Dragons in status, regardless. So I guess it was kind of something that was already in my memory. I just didn't think it'd go out exactly like this, but. That works for me, that's for sure. Um, let's not use Mandibuzz next squad. Let's find a different way to check uh, Spectre because I'm sick and tired of your damn Mandibuzz. So yeah, I'm using Cinderace on this last team here. You already know we're gonna max out that speed and attack because it's uh, Cinderace and also Adamant in this metagame is just pretty poor. Look how populous the speed tier is. Um, you have to you know lose out on, um, on Thunderous, on Gengar, Lottie's. Cartana is a huge one. Keldeo, uh, I guess technically is a root as well. Wow. And then Blacephalon. Yeah, you know, you don't want to run. You don't want to run um, Adamant in this kind of game. Even with Sucker Punch, it doesn't hit all those Pokemon. So, yeah. I mean, I guess you could justify it on like a sticky web team, for example. But I don't like it in this kind of game at all. Um, yeah, but Cinderace is there. Hmm. Okay, what do I want to use with Cinderace, though? I want to use some fun stuff. Fun stuff. So. Even with Zen Headbutt, it kind of lures in Pex. Um, Lando T is another thing. So what takes advantage of Pex, Lando T? Something really strong in the special side, I'm thinking. Hmm. I'm thinking it's Takpulele, because it also Zen Headbutt boost. Yeah, no, I'm thinking we're going to use a Choice Pex Takpulele. I'm going to use that for a while now. Psychic, Moon Blast. Um, we definitely need Focus Blast. And I guess we'll go Psy Shock for Blissey. Yeah, that's chill. I'm just going to pump out the speed and special attack, because it's a pretty standard set, I'd say. Yeah. Four into defense. I tend to run... EVs in the defense sets it's lower with the four left over because it increases the overall bulk more. Like, think about it. The difference between 186 and 187, proportionally speaking, is greater than the difference between 266 and 267. You are getting a little more bang for your buck there, and you never know when that could come in handy. Although sometimes there are specific calcs where four or eight EVs can, you know, make it so that you live a specific hit, and that obviously overrides that. Like, for example, um, in Tyranitar and Black White Overuse, if you're using a Choice Scarf set, Throwing the um, a specific number of EVs into defense, like 16 or 24 or whatever, actually could help you live a certain um, Earthquake or U-Turn combination, which I've always done. I'm Scarf Tyranitar, although that's, I don't use it very often. But yeah, that's just one example. There are obviously countless examples of either or side in this, so yeah. But with Vex Lele here, we definitely are going to want to have something that's going to cover hazard removal. Let's think here. Hmm. I also want something that checks, um, checks Spectre that's not a goddamn... Uh, Mandibuzz, so I'm trying to think. We could run Hydreigon here. We could run, oh, Incineroar. I kind of want to run Incineroar. It's kind of clunky with Cinderace, but it, it, the, the ability to get parting shots out into Tabu Lele is pretty cool. Hmm. I kind of want Hydreigon, though, for the removal. Yeah, we're going to go Hydreigon now. 
Um, I could use Spectre, uh, I could use an Incineroar team in the future if you guys want. Let me know in the comments and I'll be sure to do that. We definitely want a Steel type next. We're super weak to a couple of things. Flying, you know, Fairy, Cinderace is much resist too. Also could use more durable water resist. Um, let's go look, look at the uh, Steel type stuff. Hmm. Now, a couple options here. We could go Exedrill, which helps us a lot with, um, actually we have a ground type on, yeah. Okay, we got extra here. Yeah, I just want to double check something real quick. We have a ground here. We've chomped here, right? Um, all right, now we really need something that's good against ground types. I think we can go Tangrowth or Buzzwall. Yeah. And I think that has to be Tangrowth because I want the second water resist. Tangrowth here, and then to round it out, we need speed control. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, pretty weak to Blaze again. Um, Combine Clef might be a pain. I think we're actually fine there. What's our fast Pokemon of choice here? Um, Neo King's a pain in the ass, although we kind of just completely decimated offensively. So I'm not super worried about that. We could go with a Faramosa here. I think that would make some sense, but I don't really love it. Although, you choice band you turn into uh, into Lapalele is kind of genius. So I think we're going with that, actually, yeah. We're going to choice that Faramosa. Close combat, um, triple axle, of course. Um, U turn here. Last move, poison jab, drill run, lunge, all options, that's for sure. Hmm. I think that we want to run, um, I don't think we really care about packs. I think we want to run poison jab, yeah. Because we have Tapu Lele and Zen type of Cinderace X drill, so yeah, why not? Um, that'll work out here. Um, and we got Rocky on the Tangrowth. This is actually a really cool concept, I'm not gonna lie, I quite like this one. Earthquake. And do we need Sludge Bomb for anything? I don't think so, I think we go Stun Sport, right? Actually, I'm just gonna take this set from the team before. Yeah, oh, what's going on? Oh, it didn't click? Okay, me, there we go. Yeah, we'll just take this team. It's the same set. Um, so why not? Sometimes you just steal sets from one team, add to another. Yup, yup, yup. As for the drill here, we definitely do want it to be a bit more special defensive. Um, honestly, I see no reason just to not steal it from the other team again, because we've done that before. Um, and I know it might seem like I'm rushing, but don't worry, I'm explaining these sets now, too. So, the big thing is with Tangrowth is you really want to be good against things like Barra, Scudate, and Rain. Or, for example, Opposing Swords, and Extra Swords, Dance Guard Chomp, Kartana. And this set allows for that as well, especially if it's not a Synthesis Kartana, that would be bad. Um, we also tank a couple of some natural spin metal, metal, get some damage off against it. You know, stun spore helps slow things down for Cinderace, Lele, which can come in handy as well. And you just really want to maximize that physical bulk. Earthquake also makes it so that Heatran can't switch into you, which is cool because right now our only real check to it's High Dragon. So yeah, that's nice. As for Exodility, you really want that special pull to tank on things like Latios Draco Meteor, which can be a major problem right now. In fact, do we even need speed on this or can we just like pimp out special defense? I think we can just pimp out special defense. I'll outrun, I'll run a little speed for, um, the 223 mark, yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and say the um, 252 plus. Um, yeah, no, I think we're actually gonna go like a super bulky throw here. Hit that. Yeah, no, this is actually great because now it checks Latios, it takes Lele. Um, non, hmm, I guess non with Spectre, sort of, not really. It checks Scarf Spectre at least, but we've got Hydreigon more for that. It counters Coco, it does well against Strike and Zapdos too. Yeah, that comes in handy. Um, we could even change up the move. I don't think we need Iron Head anymore since we're not gonna be using this to check fairy types. And we got Poison Jab for our most. I think we actually want Toxic here. Yeah, and that makes it so that it's harder for specific things to switch into us. Like, um, say Buzzwall. Buzzwall gets Toxic, or Dragapult takes Toxic, or Landorus T, you know. Slowbro is a big one, yeah, yeah. Although, and that helps a ton for Cinderace, Landorus T, and Slowbro especially. So yeah, and we're also gonna just go with the uh, standard kind of bulky um, Hydreigon, which checks Spectre, checks Heatran right now. It's not amazing set wise, but I think it's okay. Um, 252 plus, I can't even remember what it needed. I, I'm gonna have to pause to find the set. Uh, you know, now I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. Um, High Dragon. Now let's calc against Spectre. Now I'm gonna set the status to burn. I'm gonna give this hex and 252 special attack and plus two. And I want to always lift this after stealth. I want to live it from 87.5 minus 6.25. Yeah. Okay, so it's around here. Yeah, okay. 184. What if it changes thing? It does. Just kidding. Um, let's just 
81 5. Do I feel comfortable with that? Not really. 81. I think, yeah, I think that'll do it. Okay, 160. Um, 160. Now, here, do I want to live anything else really quickly? Um, let's just calc. Um, actually, what does Dark Pulse do to this if not max special attack? It doesn't kill no way in one, but it should do enough to where I can revenge kill it. Dark Pulse from Life Orb obviously does a trick. Yeah, leftovers though. Um, is there a way I could assure that after left? I don't think so. Yeah, no. I could assure it after two rounds of rocks, though. Yeah, I guess that helps a little bit. I don't know. So 24, but we, we already have 96. Yeah, I think that's fine. Um, all right, so that'll do that. Check Citran, check Spectre. Nice, nice, nice. Um, but yeah, no, I'm, I'm quite liking this team. Faramosa can revenge kill Spectre with Triple Axel as well, which is super helpful. But yeah, um, I think this is probably my favorite team in the bunch. This or the Sand team. But it's fun, we got to use Tapu Lele. We got to use some fun Pokemon, like Hydreigon as well on this team. As for the other teams, Glass Cheer is obviously great. Dragonite, always fun to use them. Choice Panzer, I got 10%. We got some real heat on these teams too. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know your favorite team of these three or the five overall in the comments below. Um, if you guys are really thankful of me and this channel, then I appreciate you guys. But let me know that I'm even more thankful for you guys. Um, it's an amazing run so far and I can't wait to keep going, keep uploading and whatnot. Make sure you check out the Twitter for updates discord if you guys ever want to talk and just a nice big community there we got over 800 people um subscribe to the channel if you want to see more like the video if you enjoyed the video and again comment your thoughts i always love hearing from you guys but yeah no happy thanksgiving thanks so much for watching and have a good day all right bye bye guys peace